Welcome back to Cell and Molecular Biology course. In this video, we will explore the first observation of cells by Robert Hooke. In the year 1665, a discovery was made that would change the course of biology and science forever. Robert Hooke, a curious scientist of his time, peered into a microscope and observed something no one had ever seen before. The building blocks of life. This is the story of how he discovered cells and laid the foundation for modern biology. The 17th century was a time of great scientific exploration. It was the age of the scientific revolution with scientists like uh, Isaac Newton, Galileo Galilei and Robert Ball making groundbreaking discoveries. In England, Robert Hooke was a rising star in the Royal Society, a group dedicated to advancing scientific knowledge. Hooke wasn't just a scientist. He was also an architect, inventor and a philosopher. He contributed to many fields from physics to engineering and even helped rebuild London after the Great Fire of 1666. However, one of his most important contributions was his work in microscopy, which revealed an entirely new world hidden to the naked eye. At this time, microscopes were still a relatively new invention and scientists were only beginning to explore what they could reveal. Hooke was one of the first to use a compound microscope which used multiple lenses to magnify objects. This innovation allowed him to see details far smaller than anyone had ever imagined. Robert Hooke's microscope. Robert Hooke's compound microscope was a marvel of its time. It consisted of a tube with lenses at both ends and a light source to illuminate the specimen. Although it was much less powerful than today's microscopes, it allowed Hooke to see things that had never been observed before. One of the objects Hooke studied was cock. Cock comes from the bark of an oak tree and was commonly used for bottle stoppers. Who cut a thin slice of cock and placed it under the microscope, curious to see its structure. What he saw amazed him. The cock observation. The cock appeared to be made of tiny box-like structures arranged in a repeated pattern. Hook described them as looking like a honeycomb. These structures were completely unknown to science at that time. And Hook was the first to document them. Hooke was fascinated by the tiny compartments he saw in the cock. He noticed that the structures were hollow and seemed to be separated by thin walls. He called these compartments cells because they reminded him of the small, simple rooms or cells that monks lived in. However, there is an interesting twist to this story. The cells who observed were actually dead. The cock cells he studied were just uh, simply 
the empty walls of plant tissue. The living parts of the cells had long since disappeared, leaving only the rigid structure behind. At the time, Hope didn't realize the full significance of what he had discovered. He thought of cells as structural units, not as the living, dynamic building blocks of organisms that we know them to be today. But even this early observation was groundbreaking. It opened the door to understanding the microscopic structure of plants and other living things. The term cells. Hooke's choice of the term cell was significant. It's remarkable how this simple observation became the foundation of cell biology. Today we know that all living organisms are made up of cells. Whether they are single organisms like bacteria or multicellular organisms like humans. Legacy and Impact Who published his observation in a book called Micrographia, which was released in 1665. This book was groundbreaking for several reasons. Not only did it include detailed description of Hook's observations, but it also featured stunning illustrations, many of which Hook drew himself. These illustrations allowed others to see what Hook had seen under the microscope. Sparking curiosity and excitement among scientists and the general public alike. It's also worth noting that Hooke's work inspired other scientists to look deeper into the microscopic world. For example, Anthony von Leeuwenhoek, a contemporary of Hooke, developed his own powerful microscope and observed living cells, including bacteria and sperm cells. These discoveries built on Hooke's foundation gradually revealing the complexity of life at the cellular level. Micrographia was one of the first scientific bestsellers. People marveled at the intricate details of Hooke's drawings from the cells in the cock to the structure of a flea's body. The book helped popularize microscopy and encouraged other scientists to use microscopes in their research. Today, Hooke is remembered as one of the pioneers of cell biology. His discovery of cells laid the groundwork for the development of the cell theory, which states that all living things are made up of cells. Cells are the basic units of life, and all cells come from pre-existing cells. These principles are fundamental to biology and medicine. Robert Hooke's discovery of cells reminds us of the power of observation and curiosity. In a time when microscopic world was completely unknown, Hooke's work opened our eyes to the hidden structures of life. His legacy lives on in every biology textbook and scientific discovery that builds on his work. The humble cock slice he examined under his microscope was more than just a piece of plant tissue. It was the key to unlocking one of the greatest mysteries of life. Did you know that Hooke also discovered the law of elasticity known as Hooke's law? 
it is still used in physics today. What do you think who could have discovered with a modern microscope? Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.